What's going on guys? Got a little something new, something kind of different for this channel. Just snowed overnight. I feel like I've been cooped up in my house and I'm just sitting here thinking, what can I do today indoors that would be fun? So I've always wanted to get a little more comfortable shooting a pistol. I've had a pistol myself for about six to eight months now and I've shot it a few times outside but I've never really had real instruction. So I'm going down to the vault. It's a gun store and a gun shooting range here in South Jordan, Utah. So it's just literally right down the street from me. I'm gonna take my little brother Walker. So let me show you guys what I'm taking down to the vault. They have other guns there that I might shoot, but I'm gonna take the one I own, and this is what I'm taking. I have the Springfield XDS. This is the pistol that I own. Some ammo, of course. We're gonna film for you guys. So I've got the GoPro on the chest mount. A couple of these Walker's Game Ear earring protections. These little foamies, just in case. And uh, these are some protective eyewear the guys at weatherby gave them to me as a gift of course i've got the uh this is a snug fit bag it's good for just carrying everything so that's what i'm going to carry all the ammunition in all my hearing protection and everything else will just go in there so i'm going to get my stuff together and cruise down to the vault i'm going to meet walker there and we'll take it from there well guys we made it to the gun vault i called ahead and they had about a 20 minute wait so i'm going to go inside and get things lined up so we can get a lane to shoot but pretty wild. I guess a lot of other people had the same plan as me on a snowy, cold Sunday. They all decided to go indoors and shoot. Before I go in, guys, let me just tell you. I wanted to film this whole process because I figured that if I wanted to get more confident and comfortable with a pistol, there's probably others who want to do the same. So I am by no means trying to give out my information or my tips. There's a gentleman in here named Parker who my buddy Tim lined me up with who will have some professional knowledge and maybe we can get some tips in here. But I figured there's probably other people like my brother who have never shot a pistol that might want to get started. There's probably a lot of people like myself who has a pistol and would like to just further our knowledge and um, build that confidence to feel comfortable around the dang things. Cause I'll be honest, fire, firepower and guns in general, whether they're rifle or pistols, they still make me very nervous. I figured the only way for me to get more confident and more comfortable with the idea of either carrying a pistol for self-protection or out in the woods because I'm hunting in Alaska and there's bears. And the only way that I figure I'm gonna get more comfortable and build that confidence is just to go do it and get educated. Get educated by somebody who knows more than me and that's why I came to the vault so I can uh, meet up with these guys and they can run me through a little crash course and give me some tips. So. Let's go inside. And okay guys, I'm inside the vault now and I just met Parker. And being the beginner that I am and being the beginner that Walker is, which he's not here yet, Parker's gonna run me through the basics and the gun range safety basics. So here we go. Awesome, so just like you said, yeah, the number one most important thing is gonna be safety. So on our range, the only safe direction to point firearms is obviously directly downrange. Uh, I've got the trap system that's going to redirect the projectiles and t turn them into uh, just lead collection in the mm -hmm. back. Uh, so while you're out there, just keep it pointed directly down range. There's a red painted portion of the floor, and that's where the firearms will stay. Other than that, it's just kind of basic firearm safety being you always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Firearm pointed in a safe direction. You always treat it like it's loaded, and you always know your target and what's behind it. So while you're out there, just kind of hitting over those things again, our muzzle's going to stay pointed down range the entire time. It's going to stay on the actual firing line bench. Our fingers stay off the trigger. Reason being, we are human beings, and we do flinch at loud noises. And if your finger is on that trigger, a flinching finger is going to tend to set that trigger off. Yeah. So we'll keep our fingers off the trigger, we'll treat it like it's loaded, we'll treat it with the, the respect it deserves being a tool that can be used very safely and effectively. I walked into the vault, this is the first time I've been in this store and the place is packed and there is everything from kids to adults, probably begin everything from beginners to experience. So if you're looking to get started into shooting pistols a little more often, you want to come to a place like this. If you live in Utah, the vault is right here in South Jordan. I'd recommend it. This is a huge eye-opening experience for me already just to see that there's people as a family shooting together, there's people as individuals shooting together, and there's the more we can all get educated on guns and get comfortable and confident, uh, the safer for everybody. Parker's giving me some really good tips on just the basics of shooting a pistol. So I wanted to show, I want to share it, I want to turn the camera around basically on Parker and just share it with you guys. So All right, so in shooting like a subcompact frame or a smaller gun, it helps a lot to know exactly how to hold it because it can be kind of difficult that way. So what we do is we look at the pistol, we kind of break it down from a physics perspective, being we have a static and a dynamic component of the firearm. That means that every time we fire, this slide is going to reciprocate rearward energy coming rearward is kind of the felt recoil that you're going to feel and that's what brings your sights up off target as well. 
So if we look at it, the lower down we are on the gun, the more leverage it has to pull our sights off target every time we fire. Mm -hmm. So the higher up that we can get and the closer to that source of energy, the less leverage it has to actually pull us off target and the better we can keep our sights on. With our support hand, what we're gonna kind of do is just get as much of that hand on the gun as possible. We want as much friction as we can get because friction is gonna equal control. So with that hand, we're gonna seat as much of that palm as we can on that gun. Oh. And then we're gonna lock those fingers down on the opposite side. And I'm squeezing up high and tight because again, I wanna be super close to that source of energy. Uh, so opposed to some grips that we see where it's like a little bit looser, a little bit lower, we wanna be as high and tight as we can on this gun. And that's gonna equal the best amount of control on the range. Other than that, it's just gonna be front and rear sight alignment. When your sights are aligned on that target, your front sight's gonna be centered up in the middle of that rear notch. Mm -hmm. The tops are gonna be flush. And then once those sights are on target, both your front and rear sight aligned with the actual target, then all you have to do is keep a firm grasp and slowly squeeze that trigger. If your sights are on target, when that trigger breaks, the round's going exactly where it's supposed yeah. to be. Good information. Well, my brother Walker just walked in, so I'm gonna give him a quick crash course of what Parker just taught me. And then once we get the basics, right here in this room. What is this room meant for uh, so before you go in the range? Yeah, so this wall is signed by veterans and military law enforcement oh, and cool. agencies. So people from all walks of life uh, that have served our country is on their wall. That's cool, man, I love it. Hey, Walker Boss is here, and with a fresh haircut. <laughs> I'm sure many of you know this is my brother Walker. He's the younger brother who is actually bigger. <laughs> but uh, that's all right, he's gonna shoot a pistol for the first time, so I'm gonna give him the crash course with Parker real quick and then we'll go in and uh, we'll shoot the dang thing. We've got a zombie target <laughs> and then we've got a couple of the basics. Uh, Walker and I are going to start on these of course and of course as in with most ranges you have to have eye and ear protection. Absolutely. Which we came prepared. And what? 308? Yeah. I just bought it Friday. It's, it's loud job. in here. Not a bad way to spend 1300 bucks. No, it's actually like 11. <laughs> Aim for the A. Middle A or head A? Uh, the center mass A. Lay it on the... What's that? Started shooting low. You're a little high. But these were all in the A. Pretty good group. Nice solid group. We'll uh, switch things up and let Walker shoot again. Alright, Walker's getting loaded up and this round we're going to shoot at the A right there.
Shot him in the head. Yeah. All right, Walker's going for the kill shot right above his hand. But right for his heart. We need vitals. <laughs> Three shots. Right? There are signs of these targets that say no firearms on this thing. Okay, I was just adjusting the sight. Yeah. You can't tell where he shoots, so it's kind of cool. Uh, a little high on him. What? Okay, one, two. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, bro. Whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Those two are all right. I don't know what happened there. Like, what in the heck could have happened? Like, how, <laughs> how could you get that far? I don't out? know. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to rent a gun from uh, the vault. We're going to rent a gun and try shooting a different pistol now. We're going to do a five shot speed round. Dude, head. I I know you got him. Huh? You got a couple headshots. We're out of here. Well, we just got done, guys. How was it? It was fun. I think we learned a lot with just a little bit of information you gave us. Awesome, dude. And we got a lot more comfortable with the dang thing, that's for sure. Good deal. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy in there. Definitely recommend good hearing protection. Check out this place. Ton of elk heads. Taxidermy up there. Super nice store to be honest. I never like I said, I've never been in here. I've actually known it has been here for years I've driven past it a bazillion times, but first time shooting a pistol. What'd you think? It was awesome it was, I don't know difficult. I don't know why <laughs> I know shooting a rifle when you have the crosshairs and you can yeah. set a rest up and shoot and pull the trigger It's different even at 10 20 yards with the pistols. Yeah, I could see that the end of that thing was shaking <laughs> But we did good. Yeah, we did good um, I had a fun time. I feel like just through that one session, especially with Parker, the little things he taught me helped me a lot. So hopefully you guys picked up a tip or two, and I'm sure we'll be shooting pistols a lot more. I know KC and BMAC want to get into it as well, so who knows? Maybe we'll uh, be shooting pistols together soon. There's a look at South Jordan, Utah and the Wasatch Mountains right up there. We're going to go find a place to eat or something, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video. I'm sorry that video was so brutal with the audio. I knew it was going to be nearly impossible to uh, get the audio levels down while the guns were, were firing off, in, especially inside the gun range. The echoing was so bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like I said there at the very end, maybe you guys learned a thing or two. But I'm curious to ask all you guys, do you guys have a pistol? And if you do what caliber put it down in the description box below and again want to thank the guys at the vault for uh having us down there i met tim caseenberry want to be outdoorsman on instagram i met him at the hunt expo and he invited me down there to come shoot and fortunately he wasn't there but parker thank you for your time and your expertise my brother and i had a great time and we learned a lot with you so thank you guys uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one